Hello and welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913 and we're Let's Playing Dragon Warrior 3. On our last episode, we ended up leaving the island, or Alahan, and came to this new town of Romilly. Romilly. Kandar, now he's the one who stole the crown. He's living in the Tower of Shane Pain. And lock him up in the tower like in England. Go north, huh? Oh, I will. There's an old man. Mm. He's the son of... He's the... The king's pop. So that's, uh... I think that's everywhere. Yeah, there are monsters... Harder monsters if you go east. But... All of our adventuring right now will lie north. And then we'll go north. We'll buy a ticket to the shop at the left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't be beat, huh? Before we talk to this guy, let's talk to this guy. Ah, uh, this is where you can get tips on what you want. Smart money's on the horn rabbit, alright. So now over here is the monster arena. We pick the monster that wins and get money. 90 bucks a piece, sure. Now over here it says these are the three monsters that are going to be fighting. And because the Babel has the best chance to win, he has the lowest odds at one to nothing. The Black Raven and the Horn Rabbit both both have uh, rather the same chance, but less than the Babel. So that's why their odds are four to seven now, or four point seven. And that means that if either one of these two monsters win, you'll get four uh, four point seven uh, amount of your money. So times ninety times four point seven. And then, I don't know in this game if you can keep going and win more money, but... Anyways, the guy said pick the Horn Rabbit, so let's pick the Horn Rabbit. Fight! Now here's the monster battle. Nah, we lost. That guy's tip sucked. Big time. Well, what are you gonna do? The Babel won. He was gonna win because he was stronger. But you wouldn't have made as much money. You would only made 90 gold. So let's go. So that's how the monster arena works. You can use it to get money, but I don't because uh, it's kind of crappy. You don't find it, you know, good to use. Anyways. Here is the new equipment we're going to be buying for our party members. We're going to buy one iron spear for the priest or the pilgrim, two broad swords, one shell, no, uh, three chain mail, I think, and I'm not sure. If not, we'll buy a shell armor for the priest and three bronze shields. We're going to buy that. so that our party member is all geared up. And I am going to do that off screen. And when I come back, we'll be a little higher levels and have all of our equipment. I'll be right back. We're back. I ended up getting all the equipment, but it was a big pain in the ass. 
Now the soldier has the broadsword, chainmail, bronze shield, and leather helmet. The hero has the same thing. He didn't learn any new spells. The priest has the iron spear, chainmail, and bronze shield. He learned the sleep spell, but not the antidote spell. And then our wizard, he learned. I didn't get him anything, but he learned a couple of spells. Increase in fireball, and outside. Fireball is an all area attack. Anyways, if you want to go back, here's some new enemies. The Putrid Pups. Just use Ice Ball on them. I think Ice Ball works. Yeah, not bad. But if you wanted to go back to the Cave of Prominence, you just go on that screen and go back there, but really no reason to do so. So let's go north. Make the battles go so much easier with the Fireball spell. That hits a group of enemies. So we're going to go north to a new village. Here's some new enemies, Poison Toads. Now you gotta watch out for them. Because they'll poison you, obviously. And of course... Of course, uh... You know, the friggin' priest doesn't have... Doesn't have, uh... Antidote yet. So, let's keep going. Oh, here's some enemies that are pain in the butt. Army Crab. Just use Ice Bolt on them. With the Wizard. But they have high defense. Very high defense. Yeah. So here's the new village of Nave. If we go west from here, we can reach the tower that Kandar is at. That's what we're going to be doing next. The fighter defeated someone with his bare hands, huh? Yep. Here's the new item, weapon store, which we're going to buy more equipment, and that's right, more. I'm going to again do that off screen. I'm going to get two half plate armors and I think three iron shields. For the hero, the soldier, and the pilgrim. Oh, he came in here in pursuit of Kandar too. No, we're not going to buy anything. No, we're not going to sell anything either. We'll see what he's got. Full Moon Herb, I think I told you, heals being numb. Oh, here's a little tavern. Villagers, elves put them to sleep. Hmm. The village that the elves put them to sleep. We'll have to come back here at night. We can probably get those chests. If we come back here at night. Let's talk to the old man. I believe I know what he's going to talk about. With the poison needle. They said they used to sell it at a shop around here. Hmm. Well. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to be right back. And it's night in the town of Nave. Oh, what the? The skeleton. He wants to feed a bear with his bare hands, but he used the iron claw to do so. Let's go check that town, those chests. He's asleep, so we're gonna steal his stuff. 
Oh, there's the poison needle. And a club. Supposedly one of the best weapons in the game for the wizard. Because it... Oh, they're closing at night. Anyways, it's one of the best weapons in the game for the wizard due to the fact that sometimes it'll one hit kill some enemies. Yep. Elves live in the forest north of here. And they're the ones that turned... They're the ones that turned, uh, that made a village fall, a whole village fall asleep. But, this is all the time I have for now. In the next episode, I will have all the equipment, and we will head to the Tower of Champagne to defeat Kandar. See ya.